Hey, this is Famous Dave, and I'm here at 2012's National Barbecue Association's annual conference. And I'm telling you what, we are smoking. If you guys haven't been to the National Barbecue Convention, you ought to come, because this is where it's happening. Everybody in the world of barbecue is here, so you ought to be here. Come on out, and we'll be smoking. I'm with Cucamonga Cattle Company and uh, this is my first endeavor into the National Barbecue Association. Uh, new member a couple of weeks ago, found out about the convention from a friend of mine and decided that it's something I need to do as uh, trying to get my product out on the, on the market. I am a barbecue team and we have our own line of barbecue sauces and rubs and uh, kind of hit a brick wall as to where to go to do what I need to do and uh, finding out about this I decided that it was something that would be beneficial as far as at least trying to do some uh, networking and finding people who are doing what I'm doing um, or have done what I want to do or have a clue about where to send me to do what I want to do um, and then coming here expecting you know being able to go to a class and and meet a couple of people and and go from there and see what I could do and then it turning into being meeting people and making friends and uh, the classes were not just a dry here this is what you should do this is uh, how we do it it's it's very personable and and giving you information that you wouldn't get otherwise uh, talking to people or you know just meeting people this is gives you the opportunity uh, to make those connections that are going to last a lifetime. It's, it's been a really good experience. Um, something that I couldn't have accomplished by myself, especially here in California. Um, there's not a, a huge barbecue subculture here uh, that has the experience that some of the guys from back east have. And it's an opportunity of a lifetime for somebody like me to be able to meet these guys and, and talk to them and just, just in a hanging out kind of a way. It's been, it's been really a, a, a blessing for me and uh, just wish my partner could have come and it would have been uh, much better for both of us to be here. Um, Chuck would have would have really enjoyed being able to meet these people and, and rub elbows and, and share experiences. So definitely going to be a, a thing for the future. Uh, we, we already know that next year we're definitely coming. My wife, I called her uh, and let her know how things were going and she said, well, we're going next year. You're taking me too. And uh, so next year my vacation is this. This is going to be 
what we do for, for our vacation next year and making sure that it's something that, that we have on our calendar on a regular basis. Being a part of this has been is making me feel like I'm a part of it, not just somebody who walked into it. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased about this whole process. My name is Sean Walchef, uh, owner at Cali Comfort Restaurant. We recently started doing low and slow Cali barbecue and we are honored and uh, feel very privileged to have the National Barbecue Association out in sunny San Diego. Um, it's a truly an honor to learn from the greatest minds and the most passionate people in barbecue. It means a lot to us. We've uh, had a restaurant for about four years, so there's always something new that you can learn. Um, we've made a lot, of, uh, a lot of great network connections. We were part of uh, the restaurant tour. Um, our restaurant, as well as four other San Diego restaurants, uh, Phil's Barbecue, Coop's out in uh, Lemon Grove, uh, Abbey's in Mira Mesa, as well as uh, Brazen Barbecue. So for us, uh, San Diego kind of has a, has a soft, uh, soft spot for barbecue. We, um, we're passionate about it, too, and uh, we wanted to, uh, to prove and let everyone know that you know we're, we're willing to learn, and we also got some great taste in uh, barbecue. Every year we, uh, we put on a Spring Valley tailgate and barbecue festival. We partner with the Spring Valley Chamber of Commerce, uh, local businesses in the area, and um, we raise money for local youth sports uh, with Pop Warner Football, uh, Little League, as well as um, any, a couple other different uh, youth organizations. But we're passionate about what we do. We, uh, we have, it's an amateur competition, so it's only one day. And um, essentially we had, first year we had 13 teams, second year we had 18 teams and uh, the festival has been growing in popularity and we're very excited to get it started again. Um, excited to taste some pulled pork today and get some chicken out there. Uh, we love tri-tip in California, it's one of our, uh, our specialties, something that we really enjoy and we had a beautiful class, uh, Gene Gokachea put on a, an amazing class uh, talking about tri-tip um, Santa Maria style and um, we're just very excited to be here very excited to be uh, as part of the National Barbecue Association we we plan on being in uh, Alabama next year uh, my brother and I Tommy's our pit master over here he's uh, he's been working hard all night and uh, pretty much since we started getting into barbecue we went to a professional competition in Viejas and we, it was our first competition and we learned uh, that we probably needed to go back to the drawing board, learn some more. Um, but we're, we're eager and uh, eager and willing and we're going to do whatever it takes. As you can tell, we love sports. Chargers are our team. We, uh, we have a San Diego sports bar, so we, uh, every, every home game, season ticket holders, we're out there barbecuing and, uh, and tailgating. We're passionate about what we do and passionate about... Uh, Tailgater Monthly Magazine, they, they've been kind enough to sponsor our festival. And, um, you know, there's just so many opportunities coming up in the world of barbecue as well as tailgating. And we're, we're excited to be, be part of it. So I can just start? You can start. Hi, my name's Dave Raymond. I'm at the National Barbecue Convention in San Diego. And next year we're going to Mobile, Alabama, having a great time out here, getting to meet and be with some new people. Uh, especially these California people finding out that they have the same passion that we all do. They don't quite cook as well as we do, but uh, it's great to be here and be around them and absolutely looking forward to Mobile. My wife came down this year and I'm pretty sure she had such a good time. She's going to come to Mobile next year and we're all looking forward to it. Come down and be with us. And your company? My company? I, I'm Dave Raymond. I'm Sweet Baby Ray. And do you have a restaurant? We have two restaurants, one in Wooddale, one in Elk Crow Village, and we operate two catering companies, and we work hard all the time, so it's a great pleasure to get the chance to get away and get down and be with my friends here. And do you have a competition team? We have a competition team. We cook under the name Deuces Wild, and we, we aspire to be good enough so we can switch to the name Sweet Baby Rays. Do you cook MDN or KCBS? I have cooked 19 KCBS events and last year was our first Memphis style and uh, 
that, that Memphis style while, while challenging is very, very interesting and I love the idea of cooking larger cuts. I love the idea of, of, of being able to talk to a judge and explain to them what we're trying to do and to my way of thinking that's what barbecue should be is, is, is I would want to be judged by somebody who's looking at me and talking to me and sees what we're doing instead of just looking in a styrofoam container and, and tasting my meat that's already starting Last to steam. Last weekend in January, <laughs> should I do? We, it's every year we do it on the last weekend in January. We have the Ren Lake Culinary School come to the warehouse in Murfreesboro at 17th Street and they do the judging for the MBBQA Awards of Excellence. There was about 50, 50 culinary students that came this year to judge, so. Every year, you know, they've come, this has been their eighth year that they've come, and they do a great job. We have a different turnover of students every two years. It's a two-year college. We, we organize it, get it all ready. When they walk in the door, the plates are ready. All the bottles are covered so that they don't have any idea who is underneath the bottle. The labels, nothing is showing, so it's all blind. And we have waiters that bring the meat out to the table, hot and fresh, and they put it on the table. And we do each category. We start with the tomato mild and There's go no on There's no more than there. six judges at a table. Um, and we split them up. We do one category at a time. And we start with the sauces, and then we end up with the rubs. And, and basically it takes about from 10 in the morning until about 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. But, but they, we have the tables ready, the plates are marked off, um, the numbers on the plates correlate with the bottles of sauce. They judge and then they leave and they have no idea anything except the taste, appearance. After, and, after everything's done, we do take the labels off and let them look at it before right. they leave the building. We do let them look because they're all curious because they're wanting to go out to the stores and buy, you know, and see if they can buy this sauce. So we do let them look at the labels after they finish all the judging and everything. And then we hand all the scoring sheets over to the FSA and they take them away and do all the scoring. They tabulate, they tabulate. No, they tabulate for us. Okay. So who, makes the, who judges the, uh, the new auxiliary? Then oh that well that that was them too. It's it's all correlated into that. Now like the labels and the t-shirts and the sauce packs and everything, they do those by votes. They they write on a little piece of paper and and vote on those in a separate room. They go in and look at the items and put put a vote in a basket on those. Yes. They do it all, yes. Yeah, yeah, they do it all. Eight years. Mm -hmm. And we've come a long way. That's yes, for sure. the first, the first couple of years, it was, it was pretty rough, but it goes really smooth now. Seventeenth Street. Street Bar and Grill, right here. <laughs>